the Joe Rogan experience. And it happened on Thriller, too. You know, I mean, I, because of American Werewolf, when uh, Michael came to uh, John Landis to do Thriller, you know, he liked American Werewolf and he wanted to do, a, he, he wanted it to be a short film. He didn't want to call it a music video. Mm-hmm. And John contacted me and, and said, you know, uh, Michael Jackson wants to do this American Werewolf like music video, you know, and for the song Thriller, which I hadn't heard. And it was like, you know, Michael Jackson, little Michael Jackson, Jackson Five. Yeah, you know, he's not called that anymore, you know. But, uh, <laughs> and so he goes, John says, I'll send you a cassette and listen to it and get some ideas, you know. So I, and this was when we had little Walkman, you know, and yeah. I'd listen to it with one. I had another one that I would like, like free associate ideas when I was listening, you know. And, and uh, you know, uh, it was like, this, I thought, well, these, we came up with the idea of doing these zombie dancers. And, mm-hmm. and I said, well, you know, I'm sure you're going to hire the dancers way in advance so they can learn the dance and stuff. And he goes, no, they, they, they're, they only need like a couple of days. So they hired him like three days before we filmed. And I went, I can't, that doesn't give me time to take life masks and do all the stuff that I would do. And these zombies should be really cool, you know. So I said, well, how about if the first zombies you see are like me and my crew, because we already have life masks, we can start those today. And we can spend the time on making some cool ones. So I'm in Thriller coming out of a crypt like this, you know. And, <laughs> and all my crew basically are the first guys that come out of the ground and wow. break through windows. But the dancers, I said, I'll figure out a way we can do them. And I, because I had a number of life masks of different people, and small, medium, and large male, small, medium, large female. And we sculpted, uh, we kept pieces, we called them like bandit masks. They were kind of like this around this area, like a, well, a bandit in a, in a movie. Right, around the yeah. eyes, like a raccoon mask. Yeah, and it didn't have the nose on it because, uh, you know, proportionally you could get away with more. Mm-hmm. So we had different sculptures of small, medium, large male, small, medium, large female that we would just say, okay, you're a medium male number two, and we made these big teeth that we could pop in their mouth and put some denture lining material and fit them. So the dancer makeups were not as good as the more featured makeups. But Ma- Michael in the upper left-hand corner, that one, Jamie, with the eyes? Yeah, look yeah. at that. Like, yeah. that was excellent. And again, we kept it that way. Mm-hmm. But what happened is the zombies, after that, everybody was just doing pieces like this. I only did it like that because of the limitations I had in that <laughs> thing, you know. But uh, that was, I mean, uh, that was a re- another really quick job. In very little money. Um, Thriller was very little money? For me. Uh, um, it turned, I, I mean, they spent the money, they had a lot of cameras and a lot mm-hmm. of stuff when they're filming. Um, but it, it I, I was you know, working day and night every day of the week to get this stuff done. And mm. John then th- surprised me with the making of Thriller on the day that Michael was coming out for us to take his life mask and make a cast of his face. He goes, oh, there's going to be a camera crew here, a couple cameras. I go, what are you talking about? He goes, I want to do a making of. And I go, I was going, no. <laughs> you know, it's like, <laughs> it always looks horrifying to see somebody having a life mask taken. Right. And I go, I don't need, and Michael's really shy. I don't need, we don't need this. I don't, I don't, I don't want this. He goes, shut up. We're doing it. You know, it's like, fuck, you know, I, I was not happy about it. But then so many people have come up to me uh, who are makeup artists now and they go, the reason I'm a makeup artist is because I saw the making of Thriller uh, and, and, and it inspired me that, to do this, you know, and my stock answer is, uh, you thought that if this idiot could do it, I can do it. You know, kind of thing, you know. Uh, well, there was a time where music videos were a new thing, and then Thriller changed what a music video is. It 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 was so huge. It was a a world premiere event that was on MTV, and it's so hard for kids today to understand what that means. But we were all like gathered around the TV mm-hmm. waiting for the Michael Jackson Thriller world premiere. And it, it premiered and it changed what a music video is. Yeah. Then all of a sudden it became this film. And it was really cool because like Michael Jackson was this sweet guy and he's on a date with this beautiful girl. And, and the next thing you know, he's a fucking were cat or yeah, whatever he yeah, was. Right. Was that supposed to be a cat? Like what? Yeah, I... I he wanted to be a werewolf, and I just mm-hmm. thought, you know, I don't think he should be a werewolf, and I thought something feline would be fit him better, you know? Mm-hmm. And I originally did, a like, a Black Panther, and then I was afraid of the Black Panther, you know, the, uh, I didn't want him to be associated with the Black Panthers, you know what I mean? The political uh, part. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I then became more of fantasy. I gave it longer hair and, like, white streaks. See if you can find his transformation to the cat. 
because it was reminiscent and somewhat of American, of American Werewolf. Werewolf, but cool and unique in its own way. Well, I didn't again, know. we didn't we didn't have the time to. Yeah, do, you know. I wasn't sure what it was. I was like, is that a cat? Is that a werewolf? Is that a yeah? Well, like, that's what, what people that? call a werewolf. Yeah. Sometimes people call it a cat. I said, you know, yeah. I just you know thought it was cool looking. You know, it was but, definitely cool looking. Uh, whatever it was, but you know what happened? I mean, I'm, the thriller was so, like work, 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 and, and originally it was going to be my my crew were going to be the guys that do the makeups and they were all non-union and it, at the last minute it became a union production. So I had to hire a union makeup artist and there were many to do the dancers and many of them were people I didn't know. And there weren't a lot of people that were good at this stuff. Hmm. Um, yeah. That's again, we had a little bladders in his hand. There's actually an American werewolf hand in here at one point, I think. Uh, oh really? Yeah. You had a leftover hand. That's, yeah. That's a nail growing thing was from American werewolf. And then you did a similar thing with the ears. Yeah. And he had the whiskers. Yeah. Yeah. See, like. Yeah. It's before his hair grew a little, yeah, a little silly. But <laughs> well, when you look at that, you're like, what is that? Yeah. Is that a cat? Whatever it is, it's cool. Yeah. But he, um, the, it, it, it was an amazing experience because, you know, I was, like I said, I was really stressed out the day that we were filming the dancers and I was, I had to make up Michael as a zombie. I had a number of makeup artists I didn't even know and hadn't worked before with before that were doing other zombies and I'm running through trailers going, no, 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 like this, you know, and then Mm -hmm. making up Michael and it's like, oh man. And we were filming in Vernon, downtown Los Angeles next to the former John meatpacking place. And they had just slaughtered the animals and it had this weird smell in the air. Oh, geez. And then the dance started and I, all of a sudden it just like this wave went over me of just the stress went away and I just was looking at what was happening in front of me and I was going, Oh my God, look at this, you know, and, and people would pay money to see this. And I'm, I get get to see this, you know, I saw this real dance happening when it was, you know, for the first time there, you know, when it was being filmed. How many times did they shoot it? Not that many, I don't think, but there were, I think there was six cameras on it, you know, um, the whole street, you know, front that was filled with cameras. And, uh, but the other thing that was so cool about it, that was one of the dancer makeups. Um, that Michael, when we were doing in, in pre-production, Michael did a, a a Motown special that was on television where he moonwalked for the first time, and nobody had seen the moonwalk. Uh, and I didn't see it; I was busy working. And but one of my crew who went home at night and, and recorded it, and he goes, "You're not going to believe this is the same kid that was in our makeup chair the other day." Because Michael's very shy as well, really meek and quiet in person. And he's so dynamic on stage, you know, and, and it was, he's like two different people. I mean, when Michael's performing, he's uh, incredible, you know. Now um, he was a, and, I mean, to say he was unique is the biggest understatement in the history of the world. Yeah. But this whole scene with him when he becomes a zombie, it was so bizarre too. It's yeah. like, <laughs> even the dancing was so strange, yeah. you know. It was cool though. Oh, it was really cool. And to see it live for the first time, you know, out in the cold with the, but they don't do anything like this anymore. I mean, really, it doesn't happen. 